when the people of Jews they were trusting in the Lord and walking if we live we live by the Lord if we die we die according to the will of the Lord they have nothing of themselves only their lives are hidden in the Lord that's what they realized and when they went into the battle the people from the mountains they started to come out then the Jews they did not battle for survival they battle for life they battled for, to prove their God is great so others were only trying to survive if somebody is the enemy is strong they will run and hide or run behind but Jews were fighting to prove we have someone stronger than anything in the world and they finished them off the moment we have a little victory that is the moment the enemy will come back to us and he will attack us so many people have conquered the army but they fell to the woman so many people in the name of the Lord got victory but they fell to the riches of the world the drinks of the world Samson got so power but he fell David fell big big people if you are not carrying the Lord with you the world will carry you the enemy will carry you people in the world can just pray and they move with the Lord but not you and me when we come in the Lord thousands of evil forces will come behind us with all kinds of schemes and programs to try to catch us if you don't move with the Lord the world and evil will move with you as we read in 2nd Corinthians chapter 3 verse 11 his whole purpose is as he defiled the thoughts of Eve he will defile your thoughts he will take away distract your thoughts and take you away from God and fix your mind on something else a wild imagination wild thinking some other problems useless things instead of engaging our minds with the presence and glory of God our mind will be may not be engaged in sinful activities but it will be engaged in activities other than God I love that statement when Judas said to the people you know when they got the victory uh, he said to them do not when Judas and the army return from the pursuit chapter 4 verse 16 onwards he said to the people do not be greedy for the plunder for there is a fight against of us don't simply see the enemies are dead and their riches are available go and get the riches of the enemy you are not created to merely possess the enemies of the you are to engage in a greater war is waiting when you have little victory the enemy will not keep quiet a greater fight is against against of you you carry the Lord and the Lord will be with you that's why Judas said they saw their army had been put to fight and their camp was being burnt the smoke was coming when they realized that, that the army of the Jews, Judas, and the plan ready to attack, they all fled to the Philistine territory. They all ran away. Because Philistines were always the enemies of the Jews. Now all enemies and enemies, they are joining together. 
your life is a battle if you don't realize you will become victim when they were ready to be there they saw the enemy returning back when the enemy comes with a greater force what do you need to do you need to empower yourself how do you empower what is the greatest power god has given to you the greatest power is our god our god is our power and the weapon we have is prayer through prayer we possess him we have him if we have him he will be having us if he has us he will not allow us to be destroyed first john chapter 5 verse 18 he who has the lord will realize the lord is having them and the enemy cannot touch them if you have the lord you will realize the lord is having you if you hunger for the lord you realize your god is hungering for you god has all of us but very few of us have the lord with us if you are you having the lord that will decide and determine your life everyone are loved by god but who loves god who gives first priority to god they make difference in their life rest all maybe i eat i sleep i study i want games i want to build up my body i want to become a pilwan i want to become a very big man i want to become a superior or i want to do something to have that becomes their mind will i be passed will i be promoted will i go to there will i go here that will be our mind satan will engage our mind that's what the jews but the battle is over we destroyed this people we got many things so let's enjoy immediately judas saw the enemy you know what did he do he led them to prayer we read the beautiful verses was 30 onwards seeing the army was strong the enemy's army is strong judas prayed blessed are you o savior of israel who broke the rush of the mighty one by the hand of your servant david and delivered the camp of the philistines into the hand of the jonathan the son of saul into the hands of your people israel make them ashamed of their troop and their captivity you are the same god yesterday today and forever hebrews 13:8 whenever you feel that you are attacked you go back to the history go back to the scripture remember the promise of the lord lord how you empowered your son david to protect himself from the philistines from the hands of saul you are the same god he was only a shepherd boy the army came against him but you protected him now strike them with the fear weaken their boldness of their strength god gives you power not only to empower yourself but also to weaken the enemy that's what we read in the book of isaiah chapter 54 verse 16 god sends you into the world as a fire because hebrews 12:29 says he himself is a mighty fire and he says in hebrews 1:7 like the wood 
that is put into the fire it becomes a flame god has made you a wood to put into his fire you got to burn with his fire you got to burn with his power this is the plan and vision of god for you and me god has made the angels as wind and his children as wood hebrews chapter 1 verse 7 who are you like the wood to be thrown in the fire blaze of the lord hebrews 12 29 he is a furnace huh he is the mighty fire holy spirit is the mighty fire you should fall into that fire and what will happen in isaiah 54 verse 16 says through that fire god does two things number one he produces the instruments that are useful like spade like sword like sickle many things is put into the fire the iron useless iron and the iron becomes like a fire and they are made into useful eh, instruments like sickle to cut the crop like eh, spade to clean like sword to cut knife to cut many things can be done the same fire at the same time god uses the fire to burn away the enemies the huts of the enemies so you are a fire to some to build up and to some somewhere to destroy the enemy